the next part under the title of scope and applications of microbiology is uh, microbial genetics microbial genetics it is a study of inheritance or hereditary characters and variability of the characteristics of an organism inheritance is the transfer of genetic information from parents to progeny there are two fundamental properties of cell or organism the genotype and phenotype what is a genotype the genetic constitution of the cell it is called as genotype that means the set of genes which are present in an organism is called as genotype in case of bacterial cell there is presence of double stranded covalently closed circular dna and that dna it contains several genes in case of a eukaryotic cell say for example a protozoa or a fungal cell or an algal cell there is presence of this dna in a compartment that is called as nucleus so this nucleus it contains chromosomes and this chromosome consists of double stranded dna so this is called as the genotype it is the set of genes present in an organism when this genotype is expressed it becomes phenotype so expression of genotype in observable properties of the cell is called as phenotype so genotype is a set of genes and when the genes are converted into some other form in the form of observable properties that is called as gene expression so when this genotype is expressed it is called as phenotype there are microorganisms like bacteria are very useful as the principal experimental tool in order to understand the basic knowledge of genetics at the molecular level that is because bacteria are very easy to handle they are very easy to study <clears throat> the genotype of a cell is determined by the genetic information contained in its chromosome the chromosome is divided into genes in the case of a bacterial cell there is presence of a covalently closed circular single dna molecule that means in bacteria there is presence of a single chromosome that you need to remember and this chromosome consists of several genes we need to understand what is the meaning of a gene gene it is a segment of dna it is a functional unit of inheritance means whenever we say inheritance we say we consider that there is transfer of dna material there is transfer of dna from parent cell to the progeny cells or daughter cells so this gene it specifies the information of a particular polypeptide as well as various types of rna that means gene is a segment of dna that codes for a particular protein or that codes for a particular type of rna each gene consists of hundreds of nucleotide pairs you need to understand what is a nucleotide so gene is a segment of dna and this gene it consists of a monomer that monomer is called as nucleotide so this nucleotide is it forms a very long chain of dna one nucleotide consists of phosphate 
sugar and nitrogenous base so this one nucleotide is attached to another one and this is how it continues it leads to formation of a long chain of nucleotides which is called as polynucleotide which further and we call as a gene the two strands in case of dna the two strands are joined together to form a double helix structure the strands are held together by hydrogen bonds between pairs of nitrogenous bases these nitrogenous bases are of four types adenine guanine cytosine and thymine these nitrogenous bases are seen in dna whereas adenine guanine cytosine and uracil are seen in case of rna this is the basic difference between dna and rna now there is a specific very important information that this adenine it always pairs with thymine and guanine always pairs with cytosine this pairing is highly specific this pairing is very important for the gene expression process that is transcription and translation the study of replication of dna for example uh, study of replication of dna which is also called as synthesis of dna that we'll see in next slide the replication of dna it is the process by which dna is precisely duplicated precisely word is very important whatever the content of dna is there in the first set same type of content shall be there in the second set of dna so to make exact copy of itself it is called as it is called as replication so the composition of both the types of dna uh, is exactly identical in terms of its content of adenine guanine thymine and cytosine and there are enzymes which are involved in the replication of dna they are dna polymerase and dna helicase which play a very important role in the replication of dna the replication of dna so it is made up with two strands and this is how the helix looks like so you can see there are adenine guanine thymine and cytosine these two strands are complementary so wherever there is t there will be a in the opposite strand and same thing about cytosine and guanine there are two ends 5 prime end and 3 prime end and they are anti parallel to each other the first step is separation of two strands this is done by helicase enzyme so there is formation of replication fork these separated strands provides a template then there is an enzyme called primase it starts addition of rna bases so it leads to formation of a primer so that is the basis for the construction of new strand of dna then this dna polymerase it binds these are the nitrogenous bases and these nitrogenous bases are added from pri prime end to 3 prime end this is called as the leading strand the new strand which is synthesized in continuous manner 
the other strand is called as lagging strand it cannot be made in this continuous way because it is in the opposite direction <coughs> so this is prepared in the form of okazaki fragments small fragments in this case the primase it forms a primer at a particular position on this dna and then dna polymerase it binds to that position and starts addition of nitrogenous bases it leads to formation of okazaki fragment and this process continues in the form of production of several small patches of strands so this process repeated then the enzyme called as exonuclease it removes that primer rna and another dna polymerase it refills the gaps present in the strand so this is how finally dna ligase it seals whatever the gaps which are left in both the strands so this is how it leads to formation of